you have this concept of latent TB where you get infected and uh, you are not ill, but then you get a reactivation maybe five years after infection, maybe 40 years after. And so you, you still have a burden of tuberculosis with, in people who were maybe infected in the 1950s, 1960s, 1970s. So that is one thing here. Another thing is that uh, you, you have these migrants from high-risk countries uh, who also have the same risk of getting an activation. And you have so many of them that uh, it, it contributes to the number of cases. One part of uh, the work is to supervise the specialized uh, tuberculosis hospital because it needs a connection to a large infectious disease unit. We go here once a week and do uh, rounds on the tuberculosis patients. It is our vision to reach uh, zero percentage of TB cases in Oman. I feel like we need to focus on latent TB cases. We are already focusing on early detection of cases but uh, we need to, to dig more on that. Uh, we are calling it pool of TB. When they reach the level of uh, all symptoms is there, and, uh, yeah, it is, they are suffering. We are the National TB Reference Laboratory, act as a reference lab for the whole country. I've been working with Quantifuron for the last 10 years. We do around 44 samples per day. With the uh, Quantifuron release as a measure whether your immune system has seen a tuberculosis bacteria. And if the test is strongly positive, there's some studies showing that your risk of moving into active TB is very high. And so if you have an interferon which is strongly positive, it would be important to offer you a treatment. So you do not move into active TB because the treatment for latent TB is fewer drugs, shorter time, less side effects, and the full treatment for TB is much longer, more drugs, more side effects. Kyogen. Sample to Insight.